All right, trick people. Here we go. The answers to our last assignment, 1 through 22 all, on page 172. All right, I'm going to go through these really quick, do them with you, make sure you know what you're doing. So if we FOIL this, sine times sine is sine squared. Outers and inners are going to cancel, minus 1. Well, sine squared minus 1 is negative cosine squared. Why? Because sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. If we move the 1 to the other side and the cosine to the other side, it's negative cosine squared. All right. If we FOIL this, tangent squared of a, outers and inners, since they're conjugates, are going to cancel, minus 4. Just leave it like that. FOIL this. We get 2 cosine squared of x. Outers is minus 2 cosine of x. Inners is plus cosine of x. Last is minus 1. Okay, why, you ask, did I FOIL this out in the last two I didn't? Well, these aren't conjugates of each other because they're not the same. So, combine the like terms in the middle. We get 2 cosine squared of x minus cosine of x minus 1. There's my final answer. FOIL. 2 cosecant squared of b. Outers is minus 6 cosecant of b. Inners is minus cosecant of b. Last is plus 3. So it's 2 cosecant squared of b minus 7 cosecant of b plus 3. 15. Write it twice in FOIL. Cosecant of x plus sine of x times cosecant of x plus sine of x. So if we FOIL, we get cosecant squared of x plus cosecant of x sine of x plus cosecant of x sine of x plus sine squared of x. So this is cosecant squared of x. Cosecant is 1 over sine of x. So if you take 1 over sine of x times sine of x, they cancel to be 1. So how I would write this is, I'd write this cosecant squared of x plus sine squared of x plus 2. Just moving the sine over that direction. Okay, this one, 2 cosine of x minus secant of x times 2 cosine of x minus secant of x. So you get 4 cosine squared of x minus 2 cosine of x secant of x minus 2 cosine of x secant of x plus secant squared of x. All right. Um, negative 2 cosine squared, cosine of x, secant of x, is negative 4 cosine of x, secant of x. All right. Um, if we combine these two, we get that. All right. Cosine of x, secant of x, those are, secant is 1 over cosine, so they're, Reciprocals of each other, they cancel, so they disappear. So my final answer would be 4 cosine squared of x plus secant squared of x minus 4. That's how I would write it. This one, these are conjugates of each other. So we can quickly FOIL this to be 4 sine squared of x minus 1. Done. These are conjugates of each other, so it's 9 secant squared of x minus 4. Done. 3 sine of x plus 2 times 3 sine of x plus 2 is 9 sine squared of x plus 6 sine of x plus 6 sine of x plus 4, which is 9 sine squared of x plus 12 sine of x plus 4. 
that's done. 3 cosine of x minus 2 times 3 cosine of x minus 2 foil. So it's 9 cosine squared of x minus 6 cosine of x minus 6 cosine of x plus 4, which is 9 cosine squared of x minus 12 cosine of x plus 4. We foil this, 2 sine squared of y minus cosecant squared of y. So if we foil this, we get 4 sine squared of y minus 2 sine squared of y cosecant squared of y minus 2 sine squared of y cosecant squared of y plus cosecant to the fourth of y. This should be the fourth. Sorry. All right. Sine squared and cosecant squared are reciprocals of each other. They cancel. So 4 sine to the 4th of y plus cosecant to the 4th of y minus 4. Last one. Tangent squared of y plus cotangent squared of y times tangent squared of y plus cotangent squared of y is tangent to the fourth y plus tangent squared of y cotangent squared of y plus tangent squared of y cotangent squared of y plus cotangent to the fourth y tangent cotangent they cancel be one so it's tangent to the fourth y plus cotangent to the fourth y plus two all right, that was your assignment. All right, now we're going to do the opposite of that and factor. So that'll be in the next video.